Well, New York City family visiting rel relatives in Turkey are among the victims of this deadly earthquake. Barak Farik, his wife Kimberly, and their two sons, two-year-old Hamza, one-year-old Bilal, were found dead and pulled from the rubble of a five-story building that collapsed. Now, the family had been staying in Elbistan, uh, near the epicenter of the second deadly earthquake. So joining us now to tell us about her sister, her brother-in-law, two nephews, Kimberly Fariq's younger sister, Salma Salazar. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it's, we know it's tough. I want to ask you how you're doing because I know it's rough. But what do you want people to know? First and for foremost, I want people to know that this is a big problem right now in Turkey and in Syria. And although I lost my family, there are currently still people under there. There are children. The number of the death poll, like, it's rising. Um, and the only thing I think that we ask is having the help, the awareness that this is still happening, um, and just getting as many people, all hands, all hands on deck. Um, it's something that when I found out um, that my sister and the rest of my family was missing, there, there was no rescue teams. Um, this is something that the building collapsed and it was just three people in one, on site and manpower being used just for one location because at that time everything was chaotic. Everyone was a priority. So it's really difficult this is really difficult to see this. So we're all very broken in my family. And me and my sister, we yearn, our hearts are broken. Can you tell us about them? Um, so my sister was six years older than me. Um, she was very graceful. She was very, um, she was very lovable. She was very passionate about everything that she did and she, certainly put everyone's needs above her own. Um, and my brother-in-law was very, very, very helpful in the community. He was very selfless. He was extremely intelligent. And all he wanted to do was help, help, help the community. Um, and he was very, he was donating to Africa. He was donating. He was very active with nonprofit organizations. He, we're really broken. Do you want to tell us about your nephews? My, my nephews? I'm sorry. It's OK. We see them. They're beautiful. <laughs> My first nephew, his name is Hamza. He's two years old. And my little one was a year old. And there are no words I can describe how my family is feeling, how they were taken away so soon. Um, you know, they were just children. And we're mourning, we're mourning. Um, you know, this is the, we were just, we had so much hope. You know, our hope was to see him, you know, in programs and enroll him in school. And now we don't have, we don't have that. We've lost all our hope. We don't have anything. My, my mom and my dad, they're very broken. It's like starting over from nothing. It's really difficult. How can we help you? Everyone wants, it. they're going to hear your story and be so touched by it. Um, so, this is a huge, again, this is very chaotic. This is a huge loss that we are experiencing in my family, and not only in my family, but in like the whole country in Turkey. Um, my, my sister and the kids, they were US American citizens. They were born here, they were raised here. And my parents and me, we had, you know, accept and made a huge, great sacrifice in understanding and coming into terms that once we found out, we were ready to go on the next flight to Turkey. But we didn't have that 
option because the roads were cracked. There was a risk. Our, our lives were at risk if we went. Um, they weren't letting people inside the city where the epicenter was occurring. They were in Elbistan, Kara Mamarash. This is a town, this is a small town where once the buildings collapsed, 80 to 95% of the town was completely demolished. Mm. Um, it was very difficult to just get a machine in to help collect and pick up the, 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 the cement, big blocks of cement rocks. Um, you know, so just, even, we lost five family members, my two nephews, my brother-in-law, my sister, and my brother-in-law's mother and his dad. So my brother-in-law's father was the only survivor. And he just had open heart surgery, you said. He had open heart surgery and he basically saw his building collapse before his own eyes and he couldn't do anything. And he called my mom and he said, mom, he said, Brock, Marilyn, Hamza, Bilal, they're gone. They're gone, they're under, they, they left. And so he spent over 12 hours digging and, and just finding people in, to help him dig because the machines weren't able to go in. Well, listen, we are, um, there aren't words. And we know that this is tough for you and there are min many families here in America who have loved ones there and have lost. And so we're all thinking about you and our thoughts and prayers are with you and we really appreciate you coming in. We know this isn't easy to do. So thank you for your strength and your, your courage and your dignity and we're sorry for your loss. Thank you so much.